By now, most Dollar Tree stores have the Crafter Square vinyl, so I thought I'd try out the different types with my Cricut Joy. For this video, I'll be testing how well the vinyl cuts in the machine. And as you may know, this vinyl is much thinner than other brands, so I'll test cut a simple shape as well as more detailed designs and try multiple different cut settings. So starting with the glossy permanent vinyl, here are the shapes I'll be using for this and the glitter. And on the screen, you'll see the settings I use for each of the cuts. So pause if you need to. The first cut is a simple triangle and I cut it on premium vinyl setting on normal pressure. It cut well, except for going all the way through, which you'll see with all of them actually instead of just through the vinyl layer. Then the edges are defined aside from a few bits of paper that didn't cut cleanly. So next I cut a design with wording and I used the light cardstock setting with normal pressure. And you can see as it's cutting that this setting is a big no-no. Aside from that heart shape, this design was ruined. So the last design I tried was a more detailed image. And for this one, I used the window cling setting with less pressure. For an image like this, it's important that the cut stays in place to transfer it to your surface. So you can see that this did not happen. The cut was okay, but in some spots it didn't go all the way through the vinyl, which made it difficult to keep the image together. But you'll see later that I found a cut that works for this. I'd love for you to stick around if you like Cricut projects and easy crafts. Now let's try the glitter vinyl. I love the rose gold color of this and I had high hopes for it cutting well and you'll see the settings are much better with these cuts. For the triangle shape, I cut it on premium, vi premium vinyl frosted glitter on normal pressure and this cut beautifully. Now it still cuts all the way through, but that's just because this vinyl is so thin. I cut the spider image next on the deluxe paper adhesive backed setting with less pressure. And this is the one. This is a setting I found to be the best for this Dollar Tree vinyl paper overall. And here's a little hack to transfer the vinyl with the excess and put the transfer right on the mat for a perfect transfer. There it is. And here is the design with wording. I cut this on stencil vinyl setting with less pressure. This one didn't do too bad aside from a few spots that didn't cut through. But again, you could transfer this just like I did with the spider. Now I also found this writable white sticker paper, which I assume is a dupe for the Cricut writable vinyl. So I tested this using a fine point Cricut pen and cut out a simple label design on the smart writable vinyl setting with less pressure again for the cut. On this one, the cut was fine, but the pen did smudge though you can't see it well on the screen. So I would suggest if you want to use this for labels, just cut out the shape and try writing it with a perfect, writing on it with a permanent marker. The last thing I wanted to show you is a smaller vinyl roll. It's the same as the blue one, but it's sized to fit perfectly on the small mat, which is great if you have the Cricut Joy. So here are my ratings in thumbs up, down, or sideways for each cut setting. And I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comments and subscribe so you don't miss part two where I'll test the adhesive quality of the Dollar Tree vinyl on different surfaces. See you in the next one.